Good day everyone. For today's discussion, we will talk about facial makeup products. There are many different reasons why people wear makeup. They include things like looking younger and having clear looking skin. The study of beauty and makeup is designed to teach you techniques that will help to create certain looks. Makeup can both hide our imperfections and highlight our best features. Furthermore, it is not just about physical enhancement, but it is also a psychological enhancement as well. The objectives are to determine the types and definitions, to determine the positive and negative effects of facial makeup products, to identify its characteristics, to identify the typical ingredients and formulation, typical quality problems, and the evaluation and packaging of facial makeup products. Facial makeup products. These are used to cover up small imperfections on the facial skin and make it more refined, finer textured, and look natural. To achieve this purpose, they unify the color of the skin, improve a dull and tired complexion, give a matte finish, mask the dark spots, small wrinkles, dark rings under the eyes, and pores of the skin surface. Next is the types and definition of facial makeup products. The first one is facial foundations. These are designed to create a uniform color, provide a basic coverage to the skin, as well as blend an even facial color for all skin tones. They are typically applied to the total facial area, and foundations can be either liquid or powder form. Concealers. These are also known as color correctives. It is very similar to foundations with respect to their ingredients. However, they are designed to hide minor skin problems such as small visible blemishes, pimples, black marks, or dark circles under the eye. Concealers are much thicker and heavier in pigments and hands are more noticeable than foundations. Blush or Rogue is designed to add color to the cheeks. To many customers, blush denotes a powdered product, which is more popular while Rogue denotes a creamy product. They are usually applied over a foundation to emphasize and highlight the cheekbones and provide structure to the face. Powder blush is formulated similar to facial powder, except more vivid pigments are used in blush. Other facial makeup products. Thick foundations. These are molded foundations similar to lip liners but are typically larger. They are anhydrous containing a higher proportion of low viscosity oils. Next is the two-way foundations. Are a type of compact powder that can be applied to the skin by the use of either a wet or a dry sponge. The overall function is to provide a natural looking smooth finish. Cream to powder foundations. These are applied in a compact form. They are typically applied with a sponge. As their name implies, they transform from a velvety cream to a microfine powder when they come in contact with the skin. A new type of product on the market is cream in powder or powder to cream formulation, which is basically a powder that is turned into a cream during application. Transparent facial powders or also known as finishing powders are also popular today. They provide a sheer coverage and provide oil blotting properties of a previously applied foundation. They typically contain less pigment as color and coverage are not a priority. They can also be used for touch up during the day. Makeup primers are either colorless or slightly tinted semi-solid formulations. They are used to smoothen the skin surface. They also prevent the facial makeup from feathering and creasing they are typically silicone-based formulation that evaporate very quickly after application and leave a dry finish on the skin. Multifunctional makeup products such as BB creams and CC creams are one of the most successful developments of today. BB originally stood for blemish balm. However, today, companies have created their own meaning which includes beauty balm and beauty benefit cream, while CC stands for color correction or color control. How facial makeup products may affect the skin. Positive effects. As I have said, using such makeup products can improve someone's confidence, enhance our appearance, and even boost our self-esteem. For the negative effects, it may cause us to have allergic reactions or breakouts on our skin, which can start from pimples that may even lead to acne. Acne is a common dermatological condition affecting mainly the face, neck, back, and chest. Another common negative effect is rosacea. It mainly affects the face including the cheeks, nose, chin, and forehead. 
It is characterized with redness or in more severe cases, bumps and pimples. These are the required qualities and characteristics and consumer needs. Facial makeup products must be pleasant and easy to apply. They must be soft and comfortable, must have guaranteed evenness and concealment of flaws, good coverage, must hide wrinkles and pores, must have consistent color and matte and smooth finish, must be non-settling, non-tacky, and non-greasy. It must improve appearance but not artificially, must have long-lasting effect, non-transfer properties, provide a final homogeneous and unifying film, and must moderately quick to dry. And lastly, must be pleasant and have neutral odor. Next is the technical qualities of facial makeup products, which can be summarized as follows. Long-term stability, good adhesive property, dermatological safety, resistance to heat and humidity, appropriate rheological properties, appropriate texture, and good performance. Typical ingredients and formulation of facial makeup products. So first, fillers. These provide a base for the pigments. They contribute to the slip and consistency of powders. They also help dilute the colors, making them less intensive. Some of these examples are talc, magnesium stearate, starch, boron, nitride, bismuth oxychloride, and micas. Absorbents. These are typically dense powders that increase the overall density of facial powders. They also improve the aesthetic of the formulation and can absorb excess oil from the skin. Examples are kaolin, starch, and calcium carbonate. Binders. These help the cake stick together, provide some water repellency to the formulas, and provide adherence to the skin. They are used in pressed powders. Some examples for the solid binders include zinc and magnesium stearate. While for the liquid binders, it includes primary oil such as mineral oil, isopropyl myristate, and silicone, silicone oil. For the colorants, it is mainly in organic pigments, including iron oxides, ultramine, and chrome hydrate and chrome oxide. These inorganic pigments are dull in hue. In addition to inorganic pigments, colored and uncolored pearls can also be added to provide a lustrous effect to the skin. Preservatives Due to the types of ingredients used in powder system, microbiological contamination will generally not occur in them. However, certain ingredients such as starches, unfortunately, are ideal media for microbiological growth. Thus, preservatives are often used in powders. Phenoxyethanol is the most often used in facial powders as a preservative. Antioxidants. The use of antioxidants may also be required to protect some of the ingredients from degradation and consequently rancidity. Polymers such as nylon, polyethylene, polypropylene, silica beads, silicon powders, teflon, microcrystalline cellulose, and more can be utilized in facial powders as texture enhancers. Next is fillers act as a matting and texturizing agent. They are used to extend and fully develop colors. They can act as absorbents so as to make the skin velvety and fix the color of the skin and also contribute to the spreadability of the product. Pigments. The same types of pigments are used as in facial powders, including iron oxides, ultramine, chrome hydrate, and so on. Blush formulas are more likely to contain pink-purple, or brown orange shades. Next is the emollients serve as the oil phase in emulsions. They provide a slippery and soft texture and also have a moisturizing effect. Waxes function as structuring and thickening agent as well as emulsifiers in some formulations. Example used in liquid and semi-solid facial makeup pro products include waxes, such as beeswax, vegetable oils, hydrocarbons such as mineral oil, and isoecosine, iso synthetic esters of fatty alcohols and fatty acids, such as isopropyl, palmitate, and glyceryl sterate, and silicon such as cyclomethicone, cyclopentasoluxine, and dimethicone. 
For the formulation of facial powders, the manufacturing process of facial powders is identified to that of the powder eyeshadows. The basic steps involved are the following. First is the color extension, next is the base powder preparation, next is blending, milling, and filling. If it is a compressed powder, the last step is compression. Two important considerations are the particle size and the air remaining in the powder. Liquid.